course. Why? Oh, because it's, it was my first competition. It was the first time that I saw so many different uh, other people of different nationalities. And uh, it was a lovely friendship uh, atmosphere. <laughs> Cars also impressed the audience. This was a very original talent. Rafael Orozco, the Spaniard, had shown, particularly in the earlier rounds, a strong and highly individual personality. Now he had a formidable task, the Brahms D minor. Orozco had a very big success, and it was becoming apparent that the jury and the audience were going to have a hard job to make up their minds. 
The next pianist on after the interval was another Russian, Semyon Kruchin. Kruchin was one of the most popular competitors. Professor Aborian told me that when he applied for entry to the Moscow Conservatoire two years ago, they nearly didn't take him. He was technically backward. But he's obviously improved enormously in the past two years since his performance of the first movement of the Tchaikovsky had tremendous confidence. The standards seemed to be getting higher and higher. A real challenge to the last competitor, the only girl, Victoria Posnikova.
Superb delicacy and wonderful rhythm, said Charles Groves afterwards. But Victoria was also capable of producing enormous sound in the finale. And so the jury retired for the last time to make their final assessment, based not only on this concert, but on performance in all four rounds. With a standard as high as this, it was an unenviable task. But what did the audience think? I think cars will win. Oh, I, I haven't got any favourite, really. They're all tremendous. And Victoria Posnikova. Alexei Nasedkin. Being a feminist, I, hope, I think I hope the woman leaves. Uh, jean Rodolphe Katz. My tip, crochet first, Katz second. I enjoyed them all, but the one I enjoyed was the Brahms and the Russian girl at the end. I was most moved by the performance of the girl. Swept off my feet by the Russian girl. Really? Yes, I thought it was absolutely marvellous. Uh, quite unbelievable. At the end of a long evening, for the second time, Tchaikovsky number one and um, I should be so moved, so delighted. It was such a pure and masterly performance. It's my first place. Rodolf Kars. Um, the Spanish boy. I like the Spanish boy too. Oh, the Russian girl, Victoria. The Russian girl. I should say the Russian girl too. Oh, the Russian girl, definitely. <laughs> it's definitely the Russian girl. Same again. I think the Russian girl as well. We'd like to see the Austrian boy win, eh? Either the Austrian boy or the Russian girl. The Austrian boy is very confident. Well, Austrian boy and Russian girl. The girl, because she's a girl, the only girl. <laughs> the lady. Oh, I've only just been saying this. It's the most fantastic thing that can possibly be in a city like Leeds. And I think it's putting Leeds on the map, don't you? Two hours later, and with it seemed Victoria Posnikova very much the favourite, the jury emerged, and the final moment had come. I would like to ask Mr. William Glock to speak and to tell you of the decision of the jury. My Lord Mayor, ladies and gentlemen, before I announce the result of this competition, there are a few things I'd like to say. First of all, I'd like on behalf of the jury to thank all those who've made our job as pleasant and rewarding as it could possibly be. 
you can gather from the nearly two hours we've spent since the concert was over that we've had a great controversy uh, about who should win the prize. Nevertheless, uh, you all agree, I'm sure, that the standard of the whole evening has been extraordinarily high. It's made a marvelous concert, I think. One didn't think of it as a competition. It was a wonderful concert. Uh, and so now I would like to announce the, the prize winners. Fourth prize to Jean Rodolphe Kaus. goes to Alexei Nasiedkin. <laughs> the second prize we decided to divide between two pianists who will each get 300 pounds. Uh, one, Victoria Postnikova. Semyon Kruching. <laughs> the first one uh, is Rafael Orozco, who gets a prize of 750 pounds. In that moment, an unknown 19-year-old pianist from Spain became a new star of the concert platform, richer by 750 pounds and with a full year of engagements ahead of him, including the Edinburgh Festival, the Aldborough Festival, the proms, and a recital at the Royal Festival Hall. As one of the jury commented afterwards, he has everything, the personality and the repertoire. He is already a great artist.